guys clearly have played well enough to win these last two games. You, you know, when you lose in overtime and it's against a hot goalie, how do you convince yourself to keep doing what you're doing when it hasn't shown on the scoreboard yet? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Uh, maybe you got to score a little more. You know, five on five, he scored uh, one goal in these, you know, two games, which had, I don't know, 10 or 11 periods. So, uh, you know, we got to get more in front of the in front of the net, in front of the goalie, and, uh, you know, uh, screen to him a little bit because, you know, when he sees it, he's uh, he's really good, as you can see. But um, so, so are our goalies. So it's about a little things. I feel like both games could have gone, you know, Either way, and uh, yeah, they've been they've been a little better in the overtimes, and uh, you know now we just gotta focus on the the next one. Go ahead, Chip. Marty, is it, is it easy to, to let a goaltender kind of get in your head a little bit when they're rolling like Bobrovsky is, and it frustrates you a little bit? Maybe you see an opening, take the shot a little quicker. I mean, how do you guard against that? Yeah, I mean it's uh, uh you know. Obviously, when you don't, you have some some chances. You don't score. You maybe you think about it a little bit, but I don't feel like it's a it's a big deal. You know, you get you get a new chance, and uh, uh, you know you just got to score the one goal, and then you know um, Buck's gonna find it a little easier. But uh, uh, we just feel like we just got to keep playing the same way. Uh, maybe you know on the power play. So last game we could have been a little better. We could have scored there, and uh, that would change the game. Front right, Luke. Marty, uh, you guys have seen a lot of time against the Bark offline. How is what, what do you guys have to do better if that matchup continues to, to sort of deal with, with him and those guys? Yeah, I mean, he's a, obviously he's a really good player, and, uh, you know, he's strong on the puck. He, he plays, you know, good in D zone and O zone as well, and uh, uh, especially against him in this matchup when you play home, we got, we got lots of, like, D zone, D zone face outs, and we got to be dialed in there because, you know, they're running – uh, some plays every every time and uh, yeah, my you know obviously he's a just like I said he's a great player but um, so do we have great players and we just gotta match it and uh, you know do those little things that matters in the playoffs better. I know you're kind of playing in a little different role playing with with Jordan, but you put pressure on yourself to produce in situations like this where the team hasn't been able to put the puck in the net. Yeah, obviously we produce and uh, you know. Um, it's been, you know, we had some chances last, like both games. There was a lot of chances that, you know, we didn't score on, and um, that's what I'm saying. We gotta get more in the net. Then, you know, once you get one, then you feel a little more more relaxed, and uh, you know, then maybe uh, you have a chance, and you do something else. Then, you know, if you if you don't score, and uh, uh, you just gotta, you know, stay relaxed, even though it's you know two two nothing uh, for them, and uh, just gotta play our game.